हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सी चैप्टर नंबर सेकंड मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूइड टुडे वी विल सी फ्लूइड इन मोशन स्ट्रीमलाइन फ्लो टर्बुलेंट फ्लो रेटिकल वेलोसिटी विस्कोसिटी स्टोक्स लॉ फ्लूइड इन मोशन The branch of physics which deals with the study of properties of fluid in motion is called hydrodynamics. Hydrodynamics. Consider a pipe whose directions and the cross-sectional area change arbitrarily. The directions of flow of fluid in pipe, fluid in motions, steady flow, pressure or velocity of the fluid at a given point. is constant over time flow line it is the path of an individual particle in a moving fluid streamline flow it is a curve whose tangent at any point in the flow is the directions of the velocity of the flow at the time flow tube it is an imaginary bundle of flow lines bound by any imaginary wall laminar flow or streamline flow it is a steady flow in which adjacent layer of a fluid moves smoothly over each other a steady flow of river can be assumed to be a laminar flow turbulent flow it is a flow at a very high flow rate so that there is no steady flow and the flow pattern changes continuously as shown in figure a flooded river flow or a tap running very fast is a turbulent flow critical velocity and beyond's number the flow of a fluid whether streamline or turbulent is differentiated on the basis of velocity of flow with velocity beyond which a streamline flow becomes turbulent is called critical velocity according to reynolds critical velocity is given by vc equal to rn eta upon rho into t where vc is the critical velocity of the fluid rn is a reynolds number eta is the coefficient of viscosity Rho is the density of the fluid. D is the diameter of the tube. Reynolds number can be written as R n equal to V C rho d upon eta. Reynolds number is a poor number. It has no unit and dimension. If R n less than one thousand, that is streamline flow. If R n greater than two thousand, then turbulent flow. R n in between one thousand to two thousand that is unsteady flow. Viscosity. Viscosity is the property of fluid by virtue of which the relative motion between the different layers of fluid experiences a dragging force. This force is called as viscous drag. In liquids, the viscous drag is due to the short-range molecular cohesive forces. and in gases it is due to the collision between fast moving molecules this cause velocity gradient the rate of change of velocity with distance measured from the stationary layer is called velocity gradient coefficient of viscosity according to newton's law of viscosity for a streamlined flow viscous force acting on any layer is directly proportional to the area of the layer and velocity gradient f is directly proportional to a dv by dx therefore f equal to eta a dv by dx where eta is a constant and it is called as coefficient of viscosity of the liquid eta equal to f upon a into dv by dx the coefficient of viscosity can be defined as the viscous force per unit area per unit velocity gradient si unit of viscosity is newton second per meter square stokes law 
the last stage that the viscous force acting on a small sphere falling through a viscous medium is directly proportional to the radius of the sphere. Its velocity to the fluid and the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid fluid Fv is directly proportional to eta Rv. Therefore, Fv is equal to 6 pi eta Rv where this is the expression for viscous force acting on the spherical object moving through viscous medium. For example, a steel ball with radius 0.3 mm is following falling with velocity of 2 meter per second at a time t through a tube filled with uh, glycerin having coefficient of viscosity 0.833 newton second per meter square. Determine viscous force acting on the steel ball at the time. All uh, values are given here. So we will take here f equal to 6 pi eta rv. Putting all values in that equation, you will get the value of force and that is equal to 9.422 into 10 raised to minus 3 newton. Homework. State Stokes law. Write difference between streamlined flow and turbulent flow. State coefficient of viscosity. Thank you.